Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Coach May and I'm bringing you another video about our throwing and catching unit. Week one of throwing and catching, we talk about using our dominant hand. That's our favorite hand, the hand that we write with and that we eat with. The cues that we use for underhand throwing is the ball that is in your dominant hand, it's below your waist, and you always step with your opposite foot. Rolling is uh, the same motion as catching, except rolling you release the ball on the ground, and underhand throwing you have to release the ball up in the air. For overhand throw, the ball is above your waist, you still step with your opposite foot, and you have to turn your body a little. We kinder through third grade, we use the softy uh, foam balls that you can get. And then fourth and fifth, we use footballs. And for throwing overhand, I also talk to them about when they rotate their body and they step forward, their fingers should point at the target to where they're gonna throw to or the person where they're gonna throw to. When students practice the skills, they get into partner lines, and I have one partner stand on the red volleyball sideline, and then their partner stands across from them on the black sideline of the basketball court. We progress through, start with rolling, move to underhand throwing, then overhand throwing, and they're just throwing the ball back and forth and catching it. And we do that, each of those skills for a minute, and then we have them move down to the next, have the red line partner rotate down one partner, and then they practice each of those skills again. After they do their partner line work, we get into lines on one side of the gym and we have them throw the short distance across. They throw to a bowling pin, they can roll it, they can underhand throw it, overhand throw it. And I have home base squares where the kids come in and sit down at. So I use the home base squares. The closer the home base square is to the bowling pin, the less the points that they score. So the further away, the more points they score. Fourth and fifth for an added activity, I have them get into lines and they work on different passing routes. 